cooking cinnamon buns with Mr. Jackson. What are we making today? Wood polish. So we're gonna do cinnamon buns and then also savory ones. Yeah, boy. The savory ones, we're gonna use um, we'll get a mushroom spring onion, we're gonna add some spinach, top it off with uh, some cheese, and there we go. So we start with the yeast. Yep, so to start, you get your flour here. Um, there's about 10 cups in there because we're doing a double batch. So this is, you know, good recipe. And we've got the yeast. We're gonna chuck the yeast, crumple it in. Crumple it all in? Yeah. I mean, back home you can use dried yeast, but here in Slovakia they have cube of yeast. So sprinkle it all in. Chuck it all in. And then, we're gonna mix it around with a spoon. Chuck in. How much you in there? Uh, point half a cup there we go <laughs> which isn't bad so if you're in all your sugar and then mix that one around as well we are gonna add our salt got a little shot glass here yep chuck them in it's like a half a teaspoon i'm gonna mix him around as well i have got the i've got almond milk so i've got two cups of almond milk in here and it is um what am i saying yeah it's in the microwave it's getting hot to add to this because the heat will help activate the yeast as well. We have our hot almond milk, well, relatively warm almond milk, and we have our melted butter. So we're gonna add both of these in at the same time. Kev can add that one. So you're gonna get this weird lump looking thing, and then you're just gonna mix it around. find that it gets a bit too dry, um, just add a little bit of um, lukewarm water at a time, you won't need much. If it's super, super wet, just add obviously more flour, just do the exact opposite. So this is getting good, this is going to get to the stage where Kev has got again with his hands, or I'll get him with my hands actually. Looks professional. Mm -hmm. Right, there's our dough, it should be able to get the stuff off the side. Drop it down, it'll be a little bit sticky. Get some flour on your surface. Give it a good knead around. There's our boy. I mean, you can knead it more than that, but I'm being pretty impatient and lazy. So we're just gonna pop it back in the bowl for a minute. And we're just gonna leave it over here for a couple minutes to chill out. And that's it. Pin ready? Ready for okay. beating. We're gonna roll this out, but what we're gonna do first is we're gonna cut it into two because we're gonna do savory and sweet. Um, sweet is not a, a savory is not on this video, so check out the link to get to the savory option. Woohoo! Roll, Kev. Roll. Let's do it. Go. Look at the concentration. Done a great job. Hopefully. of making it yeah you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect square <laughs> obviously but you want it not the height pretty good probably the height half of the width because what you're going to do is we're going to put the filling on and then you're just going to roll it roll it roll it roll it over and over so we're just going to go and prepare the filling that is base yeah man so for the filling we have our bananas that Kev crushed up before which is you don't always have to put banana in it but we're doing it because we have bananas to use so He's got bananas. He's going to chuck his sugar in. Um, usually, brown sugar. yeah, brown sugar. Um, obviously, use soft brown sugar if you have it, but we don't. So we just use a granulated. But it'll melt. Yeah, boy. Christmas. 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 Your vanilla or vanilka. A little shot. So I'm learning. Um, some butter, just um, room temperature, softened up. Oh. I mean, you can add whatever you want to this. You can add chunks of chocolate, whatever you like. And we're gonna attempt a little bit of health and add some cranberries. Oh, should we add some? No, we don't wanna add coconut. I'm obsessed with coconut. Perfect, that is our skanky looking mix. <laughs> Sounds flattering. And we're gonna go spread it on that. 
He's going to eat just a spoon of the filling. Get Kevin's. That's good. Right, so we've got it. Take it all the way to the corners. It's going to get messy. Shit is just going to hit the fan. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll it now. Woohoo! Go for it, bros. Oh, get a little bit sour in here so it doesn't stick. Keep rolling. Right, Kev is lining our tray <laughs> with baking paper. You want a reasonably good tray. Not too big though, because the idea is to just cut them up and lump them together. And you're gonna see that in a second. Alrighty, life into the cutting process. Look at that, guys. Looks beautiful. and just press them down a little bit so they all join together a little bit. And voila! It's done! Piece of art. Piece of art. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck these bad boys in the oven. Should have it preheated. Again, here is our favorite oven with absolutely no settings. So we're gonna go at what we think is 170. Uh, just on the, on yeah, just chuck them in. On the baking for around 20 to half an hour. Not only because this oven is shit. For yours, go 25 minutes, 150 to 170. Just keep an eye on it and it'll be sweet. All right, sweet boys, it's time to come out. I mean, I left them in maybe a little bit too long for browning on the top, but she's good. Smells amazing. Now we're gonna cool before we decorate. So what do you think, Kev? I'm very much amazed by that. Texture is good, nice, fluffy, not too sweet, dense. It's a good time. Recording on the floor. <laughs> Go, all done. So obviously this isn't the healthiest snack in the planet, but if you're after a nice cinnamon scroll, you can get creative with it. And that guys is how you make plant-based cinnamon scrolls on a budget with random ingredients. Enjoy. Let me see some pictures and like the video.